what is self-care? And what does it have to do with stepping into your purpose? Hi, I'm Jimi Hendrick, and this episode is called Stepping Into Your Purpose with Self-Care on <laughs> Empower Your Pattern 2.0. I'm Timmy Hendrick. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Success, Confidence, and Thrive Coach. I'm looking for a pattern to help us succeed more, to help us live a better and extraordinary life right now. I'm looking for a pattern to help us. Um, I believe that there are temporal and t- spiritual tips to help you enjoy a better and extraordinary life. So if you'll come with me, I will show you these patterns. Let's go. What is self-care? Well, let's let's say this. It's not only the art of self-preservation. See, see, that's one thing that I've had to learn in years in uh, therapy and uh, um, self-introspection. And, you know, while we're at it, let's... uh, Let's blow past the stigma of going to therapy. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, people have misconceptions about that for years. And really, if you were in a tough spot, it helps you really get... really get some perspective as to what's going on. Now, self-care has two components. Self-preservation is only one uh, component of that. Self-preservation and self-improvement. Many of you know I have been working on uh, getting into some business interests of mine. On top of that, I have become sadly acutely aware of you know some some issues with my uh, my mother's health, and I've been I've been down about this. And my best friend and his family came to see me for Thanksgiving. You know, and they told me, they said, look, your, fo- your focus should not be, you know, sitting there worried about what you can do to preserve your happiness. She's, uh, she's, she's, uh, five, six hours away. You can't. You can't really, uh, there's not much you can really do to help with that. The real thing that you need to be focusing on is, is stepping into your purpose. And the thing is, sometimes, uh, no thanks to, to them critters from hell. In the truth of thoughts, we get knocked down. And to be honest with you, that's what happened this weekend. That's what happened this weekend. Um, I guess it was uh, Friday and yesterday. Just getting uh, knocked down. Getting knocked down. And... The truth is, is I had the thought of, that they, that them critters gave me the thought of, well, you weren't able to preserve your marriage and your first business in the first place. What makes you going to think you're going to succeed in, in the other place? And... 
my best friend, he, uh, Father Michael, he was pretty firm with me and said, hey, you need to find a way to shut that pot down. He said, you, you, you have a purpose you need to step into. And, and that means that, you know, you've done all you can to help your family and your people. But they, they chose to move away. And so you need to work on what you can do for your self-care. And so it's funny. Something told me I had the podcast again today. And so, well, it's, as many of you know, um, today just been uploaded as the Sabbath. Give me just a moment. I'm going to do some research uh, of a biblical proportion, and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't necessarily like the research I came up with, so I'm going to give you two verses of a Bible that I have um, that I have memorized over the years. This this scripture is the embodiment of self care. Body, mind, and spirit. Um, I beseech you, my brethren. In your, in your, in Christ, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be ye not conformed into this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that it's a good and accepting, acceptable will of God in Christ Jesus. See, that's the thing. He wants us to present our bodies to him. And how can we do that if we can just, you know, if we don't take care of, of ourselves? Self-care isn't just, you know, well, we preserve ourselves from the drama kings and drama queens of those around us. Self-care isn't, uh, self-care isn't just, you know, we set boundaries with everybody else. Sometimes... We have to set boundaries with ourselves. Well, like this morning, I didn't, I didn't feel like podcasting, but I was getting the urge that I needed to talk about this. And to be honest with you, it is a topic that I am struggling with. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just relaying to you. No doubt, we've had some fun in in some of the uh, episodes. That I have talked to you guys about. I mean, I'm, I'm checking the guide itself on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. And, well, many of you know <laughs> this whole series has been fun. Uh, of course, I've done. I've gone off the beaten path, but I've also um, tried to hold on to. It, okay, so because here's the thing. I'm giving advice for lonely dreamers, and I've told you guys to hold on to living big. I, w- I want you to keep on living big, and how can you live big if you're not involved in self-care? And keep keep it simple. Uh, th- that's definitely a self-care deal there, okay? These are, these are how you engage in Pattern Realm, and stretch to change. It don't do you no good to sit there and complain 
Because you're not getting the change you want if you're not stretching yourself. Another thing is fight for your dreams. Fight for yourself. Self. That is self-care. Okay? And then, of course, talking to you about what it means to do with afraid. Okay? Now, I've done some outside of series, and, well, to, to be honest with you, I think some of the ones I did during the series have been a little bit better, but I have been toying with just getting rid of the series after this one's over and just start speaking from the heart. Um, so, that's what I may start doing. But one thing I've learned, I think it's the past two therapy sessions, is that self-care doesn't necessarily mean setting boundaries against others in order to preserve yourself. It also means setting boundaries for yourself so that you can step in and do the things that you love. To take care of yourself. I mean, it's easy to want to just sit there and uh, BS and and poof away on the things that are important. But the fact of the matter is, we can't step into our our purpose if we don't. Do self care. So I think, I think those go hand in hand, because I think if we don't if we don't do self self care, we got problems. We got problems, and so that's why I talked about stepping into your purpose and having the requisite self care. Now I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern Two Point Zero. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part. Of empower your pattern, uh, the uh, pattern realm. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Share this with Amazon, Papa Zon, and everyone. <clears throat> do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. And God bless each and every single one of you guys. Goodbye until next time.